My name's Rich from Bug Out Vehicles UK and in this video we're going to be fitting a Bravo snorkel to a 4x4 Sprinter. If you're new to the channel, check out the previous videos and give us a subscribe. We take vans, we take Land Rovers, we take trucks and we convert them from the primary kind of vehicle that they came out of the factory as into off-grid campers uh, and we take them to some lovely locations. So in this video we're going to be fitting the Bravo snorkel. Um, this is a universal fitting whether you've got the V6, whether you've got the 2.1 left hand drive, right hand drive from what I'm aware of. Um, the left hand drive is a little bit easier because you don't have the intake uh, that you would have uh, for the heater matrix. If you're at all uncomfortable with cutting a four inch hole in the side of your pride and joy, it might be one that you need to phone a friend or take to a garage. However, the cutting of the hole is the only difficult or not even difficult, should I say, stressful part of it. Other than that, it's dead straightforward. So while we're going through this, uh, I just ask if you can try not to skip too much and if you can give us a like and a comment, it helps it out immensely. It tells it tells YouTube that this is a video worth watching and it'll promote it a little bit more. We're gonna make sure that we've got all the parts in the box. We're gonna make sure everything's there as it should be. Mistakes happen in factories. It's just one of the things of the world, isn't it? Next thing we're gonna do, we've got a template. We're gonna mask up the area so we're not making a mess of the paint too much and that we can get the template on there uh, to see where we're actually gonna put these holes. This is very important that you're accurate with this. Right, if you really want to find your centre and you're not too sure and you're using it also, don't put it straight into the harbour, okay? Turn your hole saw the other way, if you've got a guide like this on, put it template, put it on, centralise it up, and then just like that, job sorted. Then you know you're going to be accepted. How about that? Okie dokie. So when you drill in the holes, go nice and steady with this and do not push on. This is a very thin panel, so last thing you want to do is put a din or warp the panel in any way. So now the scary bit's done and we've got the hole in the side of the vehicle, we can now remove the masking, we can offer up the snorkel and we can mask where and mark out where the upper mount's going to be. As it's a commercial Mercedes, these things like to rust. So make sure you've got a bit of primer, you've got a bit of paint in there. Um, just protect that paint as much as you can and stop rust from starting from somewhere where it wasn't in the first place. So 
So we've got rivnuts provided with this. We're going to install them now, uh, and that's where that's going to give you the bulk of where the snorkel bolts to. So the upper mount, you can either screw this on with self-drillers or you can rivet this on. Personally, I've chose to rivet this on because we can put a bit of paint in there, put a bit of silicon in there, we can rivet it on and then that's going to give us a good watertight seal to stop water from getting into the uh, eight pillar. Do not go mad as you drill through here because last thing you want to do is go hammering in with the drill bit, go straight through your trim uh, and make a mess if you can. So we've got the short side with the indentation to the top, so that's going to go into the wing there. So Jubilee clip, make sure it's facing the right way there so you can get access with your tools. We're going to have a joining piece that's then going to sit in here. You might have to spit on it and push it in. Just thumb it in there. Next you will clip on where you can reach it. And then you've got your big flat side which is going to go in your air box. And that's going to come round and that's going to go on there with another, obviously, tight up clip. But we'll get this piece on first to start with and then we'll go from there. So as you can see, this is where it comes from the air box into the back of the grill. And this is where water would come in and do some damage. to really rag your hand on. Right, the only difficult that's going to be is we've got one to get up in here. Um, and it's going to be an absolute pig to tighten up, but it is what it is. What I would say, if you are doing this, is as you put the first few pieces in, it looks wrong. It looks like it's not going to fit. You look at some of the videos of the American left-hand drive ones and they haven't got this big air box here that feeds the heaters. So it is a bit of a pig to get the angle on this bit to get it round this heater where it is very, very tight and get it all on. All I can say is roughly put the pieces on, um, try and get the little sleeve in the middle together, nip that up with the two bits and then just manhandle onto the air box and onto the snorkel bit. They should roughly be on anyway, but it's that last little bit. And then what you'll find is it actually looks proper once it's together. So this is the normal top that you get for like a safari style uh, snorkel, uh, raised air intake, whatever you want to call it. Um, basically what this would do is air comes in, down, jobs are good. And if you've got a lot of spray, say you're on a beach or a motorway or something like that, yes, you can invert it. It stops a lot of the spray from going in, but it's not got the best airflow. What I've done, I've paid the extra bit and got this top. What this does, is the air comes in from the bottom and it puts it on an angle which gives it a cyclone effect. The cyclone effect then, any heavy material, any dust, any particulates, then gets trapped in this chamber here as the air goes down. While I've been in Scotland, you all know what the midges like are there and I have had it where I've been driving along and I've actually seen the midges just going round and round and round and round and round. When we pulled up, the engine shut off, everything settled down. You undo the wing nut on top, you lift this off, turn it upside down, tap it out, put it back on, jobs are good and 
the amount that you would see in there shows it's worthwhile because it's getting caught in there rather than being sucked straight in and into your air box, clogging your filter up, and it's more aggro opening your air box and cleaning that out than it is just doing that. If you're interested in uh, one of these snorkels, uh, I'm not affiliated with the company in any way, shape or form. However, I know people will be interested. The links are in the description down below, along with other medias uh, and with the subscribe button and uh, the like button. Once again, if that was helpful or interested in any way, shape or form, if you could just uh, give us some analytics on this, either put a playlist on to play or something like that, it helps me out immensely. The watch time is the biggest thing these days. So if you watch any more of the videos or you're watching the playlists, thank you.